Oh, good morning. Uh, let me um, officially welcome you to the uh, Prime Minister's uh, office in what I hope uh, is going to be uh, a productive uh, uh, working session. Let me again uh, welcome you to, to Greece. I think it is an uh, uh, important initiative that you have taken, dear uh, uh, Albert, and it is indeed a privilege for us to be able um, to host you here today. And I think uh, this meeting will uh, give us an opportunity uh, to discuss more potential uh, synergies between uh, your companies uh, and our government, uh, both at the level of our national policies, but also at uh, the level of uh, possible interventions which take place uh, uh, at uh, the EU um, uh, level. Uh, we are uh, in a complicated uh, uh, environment where we literally need to, we feel that sometimes we need to square, um, you know, the, uh, the circle by providing uh, our citizens uh, access to both uh, uh, innovative uh, um, uh, but also generic medicines at the best uh, possible uh, price uh, to make sure that we protect ourselves uh, against uh, disruptions in the supply chain, but at the same time, to ensure that we continue to favor uh, innovation and offer uh, companies uh, investing uh, in uh, drug discovery the necessary predictability to allocate significant resources towards the development uh, of, uh, of new uh, and innovative uh, drugs. Um, um, and uh, of course, uh, we have with us uh, here the uh, 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 sort of half of the, uh, of the cabinet uh, to present to you, first of all, the business environment uh, in Greece. I had a chance to talk a little bit about this uh, yesterday, but we have uh, a couple of presentations. And then some uh, more specific thoughts about uh, how we can work, possibly work together um, uh, to foster um, life science innovation uh, in Greece, uh, which is one of our um, areas where we want to place a particular um, emphasis. So I don't want to take uh, more of your time with introductory remarks. I'm sure you'll have a lot of comments, which we will try to answer. Uh, as uh, um, uh, as succinctly uh, as we can, so let me give the uh, the floor to uh, to Albert. Uh, welcome you uh, again um, uh, to uh, to Greece, and thank you for um, bringing such a distinguished group of uh, global healthcare leaders to our country. Thank you very much, Prime Minister. Thank you for the warm welcome. It is really overwhelming to to see. Uh, uh, to be here in this very historic uh, building and to, to have not only you, but also members of your cabinet here. Um, we have here the, uh, the, the CEOs of uh, the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, uh, that they are members of the International Federation of Pharmaceutical and Association. And uh, we are uh, having our annual meeting and we have chosen to, to come to Greece. Uh, one of the reasons we are coming to Greece, it is because Greece uh, has uh, steadfast support for innovation. And at the European level, it is one of the countries that uh, we feel that takes very clear uh, positions uh, when it comes to important aspects of uh, driving innovation, like intellectual property, like access to medicines. And uh, uh, we want to make a statement by visiting here this country uh, uh, about how pleased we are and how we would like to cooperate with you. We are uh, about to enter a, a period of scientific renaissance where, uh, because of advancements in biology and at the same time advancements in technology, we are going to see significant medical innovation in the next 10 years. And of course, this is translated in significant number of investments. Right now, we estimate that approximately 200, more than $250 billion of R&D was invested uh, by the pharmaceutical industry, at large, by companies that are here last year. And uh, at, at this stage, the lion's share of these investments uh, it stays with the United States. Uh, 20 years ago, the difference between uh, uh, the level of investments in the United States and Europe was uh, approximately $2 billion, so more or less were the same. Uh, in 2023, probably will be in excess of $50 billion in favor of the US. And um, this is, uh, I think, uh, a lost opportunity for Europe. And of course, within Europe, uh, Greece uh, also, I think, 
is under-indexed in terms of uh, research investment of pharmaceutical here, and this is something that we would like to, uh, to discuss. I'm sure that uh, you and your cabinet will present all the opportunities and why Greece is uh, a very good environment for research, including pharmaceutical research. Uh, what plays a significant role for us as we are considering our investments are uh, uh, several things, but they can crystallize into three big areas. One, it is pro-innovation policies and particularly the protection of uh, intellectual property. Uh, when other industrial segments, uh, their investments are tangible. When you speak about energy, uh, they are invest their investments are going to refine oil or to extract gas or to harvest the sun. Uh, when you speak about the auto industry, it is the manufacturing side to build the cars. In our case, most of our investments are translated into a formula on a piece of paper. And it is extremely important if those uh, investments need to happen, someone needs to feel that this intangible property investment is protected. And in the last few years, we have seen uh, significant uh, setbacks in terms of uh, voices uh, that they are attacking the concept of intellectual property. Uh, and uh, in uh, the World Trade uh, Organization, we were very pleased to see that this, uh, uh, the proposal to waive intellectual property didn't, didn't pass. But as we were celebrating that, we see now that the European Commission comes with some proposals that we are uh, uh, clearly opposing to them. Uh, we are not the only ones. We had the chance to meet with uh, heads of state. I met with the Chancellor Schultz uh, just a couple of months ago, and uh, he, he made very clear that Germany is opposing those, those policies. We met several of us with uh, President Macron, and he made very clear that France is opposing those statements. And uh, we know that Greece also is very, very much into the field of innovation. So that's one area that's extremely important to us. Uh, of course, areas like access of medicines at, uh, at, uh, at, at prices that reward innovation it is also something that we take seriously in consideration when we try to invest, and the regulations that uh, can make clinical research easier um, and remove bureaucratic uh, barriers that may exist is also something extremely important. Um, so those are the topics that we would like to bring uh, uh, to your attention and, of course, seek your support, uh, as you said, at national level and at the European level, where Greece's voice is uh, Greece's voice from uh, being not very respected has become to being one of the most uh, trusted and respected voices, very influential. And that's the result of, uh, of everything that was able to accomplish the, the country uh, coming from this dark period of uh, the, the financial recession. So um, we know that and we think it is very important for you and your cabinet to understand uh, what really can drive the competitiveness of Europe and of course of Greece. I understand from your side also you would like to, uh, and we are all eager to, to hear, uh, the opportunities and the specific ideas for investments in, in Greece. One very, <laughs> very quick response to what, what you said, which is related to um, uh, the European agenda you put on the table. The issues related to European competitiveness are at the heart uh, of uh, uh, our um, uh, campaign rhetoric in light of the next European elections. I'm saying this. Uh, because uh, for, uh, for us, for, for my government, but also for the European People's Party, uh, this needs to be at the top of our priorities for the next uh, European electoral cycle. We're losing competitiveness uh, in Europe. We're failing to attract uh, cutting-edge uh, investment. We lag behind uh, um, leading uh, innovation uh, indicators, uh, certainly vis-a-vis -vis the US, and this is something that needs to be uh, rectified. So we will certainly put a lot of pressure on the other European institutions, especially the Commission, uh, to focus on these issues. Uh, we have two um, reports uh, coming up which will be discussed at, uh, at our uh, level related to competitiveness and the functioning of the single market, which in our mind is particularly important because it is not functioning as well as we, uh, um, as sometimes we, we think. So from our side, from the side of the Greek government, and as far as I'm concerned personally, 
to the extent that I represent my country at the European Council, these issues will be at the, the front and centre uh, of our agenda for the next European uh, electoral cycle.